The language of warmth and love are verbal excuses and verbal outlets for some people for avoiding their responsibility to make the world a better place for everyone. The smarter your kids are, the richer my life. Every kid on corner shooting up drugs, going nowhere, you're going to have to pay for in the future. Therefore, it is efficient and functionally selfish to build a better world for everyone. If you try to do it, people come to me all the time and they say, can you design a city with a wall high enough so when the U2K problem comes, or the system breaks down, or the banks fail, we will be protected. I said, sure, I can design that, but there are people that will drive by with launching mechanisms right over your little wall. There's no place you can hide. We have 25 acres. People call it Eden 2. It's beautiful. When I talked this way on the Larry King show, he said to me, just a minute, I depend on those people that you're attacking. I wasn't attacking the automobile companies. I just said that if you did that, it would be safer. If you put proximity units on automobiles, most of you have them in your home now. When you walk over the building, the light goes on. That's a proximity unit. Put that in your car. And if you're backing up and a child is crawling behind you, it stops, no matter how much you step on the gas. I don't want any signs slippery when wet. I want an abrasive put in the highway and take that sign down so it's not slippery when wet. I don't want to say to kids, stay away from drugs. I want to make life so interesting for people that they don't want drugs. They don't want to dull their senses. They want to become keen and they want to become fully aware, I'm using older language, and conscious of their surroundings. It is painful to deaden your awareness when life is beautiful when what you do goes out to people and makes their lives better. The Venus Project is the redesign of a culture in which the elements that comprise the culture are different. For example, our cities are round, not because I like round cities. The city is round. The center of the city has a socially integrated computer. This may be a medical center. This might be an engineering center. And if you work in a medical center, you live in beautiful gardens with running streams and waterfalls. And every district is the same distance from the center. There are no cars in the city. You get on a conveyor and dial where you want to go to. There's no crime in the city. Just before the public library in the United States, People said, well, you can't really do that. The people never bring back the books. They'll keep them. They won't return them. Of course, all that was incorrect. I want to build a library where any child can walk in, check out a camera, check out art materials, check out water skis, make things available. People don't steal. No one's going to hit you on the head to take your watch off if it's available. Well, how are you going to pay for this central library? that gives children these things for nothing. Well, it cost about 50,000 bucks to keep a kid in jail one year. An adult, 75,000 bucks a year. Food, clothing, shelter, dental care. Isn't it easier to do it in a different way? 